hello guys welcome back in this video let's explore the curve bridge tool so right now i've got a sphere which is uh, dynamized so i would like to first uh, do some punch some holes and then start doing the bridge so i will just choose uh, the slice circle tool okay and i'm going to uh, you know drag a circle and then put uh, using the space bar i'm using the slice circle i have created the circle using space bar i'm going to position it wherever i want it and then I'm going to release it. That will give me uh, two different uh, poly groups. And this poly group is separated by a nice edge. So I'm going to hold uh, shift and control and click on the model here, which is going to hide the other polygon group. And I'll go to the geometry section and modify topology. And then use this option called uh, delete hidden. And then you will be deleting that faces with that option. Now I'll just go to the display properties and then tap the double option which will show the faces inside now this bridge tool is very much like uh, the bridge tools in any 3d application so here i need to select the border with a curve so i go to the stroke curve functions and you can create curve based on some features so here i'm going to switch off poly groups and creased edges and enable the border and then just frame mesh which will give you the curve on the both uh, edges there uh, you can also uh, do it another way uh, so i'm going to delete this curve by this curve functions delete button the other way is uh, first to pick your curve bread bridge so you can press b c and 2 so that brings up the curve bridge so you can use uh, uh, a curve anywhere just click and drag and then hold shift then that gives you a curve around that particular edge and you could able to see the total geometry is masked now you need to select the other uh, side curve and uh, this can be really helpful when you are doing a model which has more than two holes okay so drag the curve hold shift and then release it then you should able to see that curve and this curve has created a bridge model uh, now to delete the remove the curve click anywhere on the model and you have masking so hold control and drag it and you get the masking uh, you should able to see uh, the number of edges uh, are not really matching on the both sides and that is the reason you got this uh, a topology which has been made to connect those lines or match the number of lines there however you can just go to the geometry section and in a z remeasure keep groups option on and then uh, you can do the z remeasure which will uh, create a new uh, model which has got a decent flow i think uh, there are uh, two issues here and uh, maybe I can uh, fix that uh, by using uh, mirror and weld tool so I can go to the modify topology and then click a mirror and weld option so what happened is here it's mirroring in the x-axis so I just wanted it to be the Z and then mirror and weld now you should be able to see that cleanup has been achieved and this is be uh, because this side information is uh, copied onto this side and now I got a decent uh, mesh there Okay, so uh, that's how you can use the bridge tool in ZBrush.